If Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, that means victory is yours. Amen. 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 Victory Amen. is yours. Amen. 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 Victory. Say it with me. Victory, victory. is mine.
mom was here. Mom's like, I know to be obedient. I'm right here, son. Amen. And I, I and I want to I want to encourage us once again. We do this ministry. I am recovered to be intimate with Holy Spirit. And we know, being children of God, that God has called us to be the church. Amen. Amen. I am not the church. No. May I say that again? I am not the church. Amen. We. Hey. Come on, Brother Joey. Hey. Joey Tavana. We are the church. Amen. Hey. We are the church. Praise God. Now, if your last name is church, praise God. Your sister Kathy and Brother Todd right there. Yes, they can tell me if I am. I am church, right? And that's their last name, family. Praise God. That's favor on their life. Hallelujah. With the last name like church, you should be here 100% of the time. <laughs> praise God. <laughs> hey, but you are. Praise God. You are. They are. They're faithful. Amen. It's, it, we're just teasing. Come on. Don't get serious. Praise God. <laughs> we're all having fun. Amen. So this evening, um, many reached out to me and asked, um, because praise God, they're launching out I Am Recovered in small groups and um, in the jails. And so... The question was, well, Brother Joey, what if I don't have all the fancy stuff that you guys are blessed with here in Open Arms Community Church? And that's a great question, right? Because, you know, we have music, we have the slideshows, we have the pray, Lord's Prayer comes up, right? We have all these things, and we never want to be a distraction to somebody. Right. Can you hear an amen? amen? The heart of I Am Recovered is just to get into it, right? The bottom line is, everything that's written... It's words that you can read and teach from. The Holy Spirit is the only teacher. Amen. 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 All we're doing is words of Amen. Right? Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. So what, God asked, what God asked for me to do this evening was just to show not only us, because I don't know, this may be the last time we see each other. Amen. 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 Beloved William said it. I'll see you in the earth, right? Some of you said, see you in the next half an hour. Ain't that the truth, right? But I'm the kind of brother that never takes this moment for granted. And see, that's up to me, right? I never take my wife for granted. I don't take my mom for granted, right? I don't take you all for granted. I pray you know that I don't. Every time I see you and get to hold you and touch you and talk to you, I treat it as if this may be the last time. Amen. But glory to God, we'll see each other again soon. Amen. But I'm never going to take advantage or take you for granted, right? You see, that's what the devil wants to do. Yeah. Right? The devil wants for you to feel it's just another day. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, that's right. Oh, the same pain. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Come on. Oh, the same annoying person at work. Right? Ain't that the truth? Oh my goodness, this is so annoying. And it just wants to eat at you and eat at you and eat you. But God Almighty within you, if you're a child of God and you have Lord Jesus Christ, God has equipped you to say, are you going to be part of the problem or are you going to be a solution? Amen. Right? Are you going to be an answer? Amen. I choose to be an answer. Amen. I choose to, when I show up, God has already been there. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah! So how do we make that happen? Amen. How do we ensure that we make that happen? Every day go to God. I, I hear a lot of feedback, right? Prayer. Prayer. Amen. Worship. Good word. Worship, huh? Listen. Amen. Brother David and I was talking about that, right? Being still and listening. Amen. What else? Holy Spirit is flowing. Every day is a new day. Praise God. Go to church. Huh? Go to church. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Go to church. Praise God. Facebook. Go to church. Amen. Praise God. Carry your cross. Carry your cross. Right? Surrender. Surrender. Amen. Huh? Repent. Powerful. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. I just don't think we should get up any day and not start the day with God. Amen. Mom Depp, Mom Depp said, I don't think you should start any day without just thanking God first. Right. Ain't that the truth? Amen. But remember, it, it, it has to be your relationship with God. Right? Because God gives you free will. Amen. God gives you free will that you can get up and you can just grumble and complain. I've done it for years. Right? I've done it as a Christian. Lord, help us. I'm so sorry. 
praise God, we're washed by His blood. Amen. Amen. It's, it's, it's forgiven. We're washed clean. Right now is a new day. Amen. Amen. Let's give God praise. Let's give God praise. Uh, so for those of you uh, who are standing, or maybe y'all sat down already, it's all good. <laughs> we're going to be in uh, page 17 of the I Am Recovered book, and we're going to say the Lord's Prayer. Amen. Amen. Just repeat after me or say it with me. We're just going to pray it real quick. Once again, that's in page 17 of I Am Recovered. Matthew 6, verses 9 to 13 says this. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. In earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We love to say after that prayer, Holy Spirit, help us in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray. Amen. Amen. And the reason why we say that in I Am Recovered, Holy Spirit, help us in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray, is because Lord Jesus Christ paid that ultimate price. Listen, I know everybody sees. Listen, we're in Easter, Easter season, right? I encourage all of you, beloved church family, don't miss a day of worship this week. Amen. Amen. Seriously, God's going to do the miraculous in your life, in what you're believing for. It's a guaranteed promise, Brother Todd. Amen. And you know, I wouldn't say this from the pulpit with full accountability of Lord Jesus Christ. Please, please, if any, if any week, I don't even know if we'll make it to Easter. I don't. You can feel it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can feel it in your bones. Amen. But I encourage you to fight. Now when I speak this, the enemy is going to try to fight you to not make it on a Sunday morning, on a Wednesday evening, on a Friday night. Right? The enemy is going to try, but in Jesus' name, we have to make a decision. Amen. Right? We have to make a choice that you're not going to stop me. Amen? Amen? Isn't it beautiful when God Almighty tells His children that I give you all authority? Yes. <laughs> you can just stop right there. Yes. Drop the mic. Drop the mic, right, Mom? Just drop the mic. God Almighty, our beloved Savior, Brother David, says that I give you all authority. Because last time I checked, you have to have authority to give something. Yes. I cannot give this to you, Brother Kevin, if it doesn't belong to me. Right? If I give it to you and it belonged to David, David's going to say, that ain't, that's mine. <laughs> right? So the question is, do you believe that Jesus Christ has all the authority. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, are we getting somewhere now? Are we getting somewhere now? Yes. Because see, if you don't believe. Then there's something wrong with your authority. If you don't believe that the great I am. The only begotten son. Beloved, at the beginning of time was there, spoke the word, for he is the word of God. Okay. Remember, let us. <laughs> Who is agape? Father, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. He is the beginning, he is the end. Yeah. But it had to come to the time, the point, where Lord Jesus Christ looks at the Father. Isn't it beautiful that when you think about that, before Lord Jesus even came, Sister Kathy, that look? Can you imagine the presence in heaven? You could just imagine. All of the worship, all the praises, but it came to a halt. When that look of the Father and the look of the Son met, and it was for your salvation. Hey. It, was, it was that glorious moment where he looked at the father and said, I got to go and save David's soul. I got to save Virginia. I got to save Tony.
thought. I gotta save Kathy. I gotta save Amanda. I gotta save Joey. I gotta save Mom, Dad. I gotta save Trish. I gotta save William. I gotta save Kathy. Amen. I gotta save Jennifer. I gotta save Kevin. What's your name, sweetheart? Tiana. Tiana. I gotta save Tiana. <laughs> Praise God. I gotta save David. Amen. I gotta save Joey. Amen. It's all in that look. Amen. And I can just see it because God shows me all the time that you can just see the Father and the Son just look. You can see the tears. But the tears that ruled was tears of over loving, overwhelming joy, what we call agape. Because Holy Spirit just overflowed heaven beyond what we can comprehend or understand. And it's at that very moment when beloved Mary said, be unto me according to thy word. Amen. And right when God Almighty, right when agape heard a beloved daughter say word, let it be unto me your word. Let there be light, your word. You could just see Lord Jesus say, all right, family, I got to go, but I'll be back. Amen. Amen. I'll be back. And just like that. I encourage you this week. I encourage all of Facebook. Let's make a change, family. Amen. 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 Let's make a change, as good or as our lives are. You know how amazing it is to be around beloved brothers and sisters in Christ? You know, we are one here at Open Arms Community Church. I can only speak for Open Arms Community Church. Listen, I just want to bless you. I want to bless everybody that's watching. Listen, don't come at me and tell me what other people are doing, what other churches are doing, what other people are doing this, this conference, this conference. Stop! Okay? I got nothing to do with that. What I'm doing right now is I'm trying to just stay focused on my Lord Jesus Christ and worshiping God and blessing God and being a blessing to His people. Amen. That's all I want to do. Amen. 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 Stop. Listen. Listen. It got to it gotta come to terms with you. The enemy wants you to run after ministry and conference and conference and get busy with this and get busy. But get rooted. Get planted. Amen. I have to be very careful. I have to be very careful as a pastor. To some brothers, it may not be no big deal to go here and go listen to somebody and be in a conference and have a great time. But then to another, it's actually uprooting them and hurting them and causing confusion because they're like, oh, well now I just want to chase a feeling. God is not a feeling. Can I get an amen? God is not a feeling. God is not a concert. Amen. God is not a charismatic preacher. Amen. Can I, can I hear an amen? amen? God is not salt and pepper to put on the shelf. Just because you want your spoon a little, a, a little spicier, you're going to use him. No, he's not like that. No. God is God Almighty, and he's alive. Amen. And he's alive on the inside, and his name is Holy Spirit. Amen. Will we treat Holy Spirit like that? Will we treat Holy Spirit with reverence, or will we treat Holy Spirit as, you do what I want to do? Will we treat God like that? Will we treat God like, I know that you're God, but I dictate what I want in my no. life. No. I dictate when I want to feel blessed. I dictate when I want to feel blessed. I dictate in what conferences that I want to go to. And who, you, it, it has to stop. Say it with me, stop. Stop. It has to come back down to the feet of Lord Jesus yes. Christ. Amen. But remember, beloved, it's up to you. Amen. 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 It's up to you. I'm only in charge of my own relationship with God Almighty. That's it. Well, why are you a pastor? I said, yes. I'm not worthy to be a pastor. I'm not. My Lord Jesus Christ is. Amen. Amen. Every time the devil wants to put it in front of me, you did this, you did that. Yes, I did. It happened just this week. It happened just this week. Distraction from people. Bringing up my past. I'm not running from them. Yeah, you're right. And you know what? You're successful in hurting me and bringing up those horrible things. But the glory of God is, I am forgiven. Amen. I am forgiven. The blood of the Lord Jesus Christ washed that clean. That person's dead and gone. You can keep talking about that person. I know I look like him. I know I'm just as handsome. Maybe handsomer. Hey. Maybe, maybe handsomer. Praise God. But I'm going to tell you right now, 
That ain't him. What do you mean? It's you. You did it. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, man. It's covered by the blood. Amen. 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 Are you denying it? No, I just told you. You're right. But I'm telling you what I know that's true. It's gone. Hey. I'm covered by the blood. Hey. Can we say that I am covered, I am covered, by, covered. The blood by the blood of my Lord Jesus Christ? Lord. So another thing, a lot of somebody asked me earlier, why, why is it in every worship service you have the congregation say certain words or repeat after you? I find that annoying. And I said, I, I'm sorry that you find that annoying. But that's between you and the Lord. I'm not going to stop. Right. Amen. Amen. The reason why is faith is believing right. and hearing. hearing and speaking. Second Corinthians 4.13 actually doesn't even talk about hearing. Yeah. Romans 10.17 talks about hearing, right? Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word right. of God, right? right. That's right. Romans 10.17. Right. But 2 Corinthians 4, right, talks about the spirit of faith. Now, when we apply that to Ephesians 6 in the weapons of God, how effective are you when you're built like a tank, right? Brick house. I'm a brick house. I'm my, my, right? What happens when you're all armored up, but you got no sword? Amen. Amen. There you go. Right? How effective are you? And so let me answer this because it was brought up. And once again, I just, I, I see, I don't, I don't just scare the enemy. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, God gave me a sword. Amen. And I'll tell you right now, like wipers on a real rainy day, I'm swinging that sword. I'm just swinging that sword. Amen. I'll tell you right now, I'm swinging. And I expect you to do the same thing. Swing that sword. How do you swing that sword? I believe with all my heart that Jesus Christ is my Lord. And that because he is perfect and mighty, he gave me the perfection, he gave me the glory, he gave me the manifestation of Holy Spirit who lives within me. The resurrection power of God lives within me. So because I believe that, I speak now in the spirit of faith that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. No weapon formed against me. Are we going to exercise it, right? Remember this whole this whole past month now, maybe maybe a little longer. We have been in principle one: what Holy Spirit will work through you, and I am recovered. And this is identity. Amen. This is identity. Guess what? When I was a demon, when I was a demon, all I spoke about was the horrible things that was done to me. And guess what happened? Demon after demon. Yeah. Legions. Oh, and they were so happy to come. I grew up in religion. Went to church every Sunday. Was an altar boy. Oh, held the cross. Walked down the aisle. I'm not making fun of nobody. I'm just telling you what. Amen? Amen. Why my identity was broken. My identity was hurt by the enemy. But I kept speaking the garbage. Never going to get better. No one's ever going to love me. I can never be like this. I can never be like that. I can never do that. I can never get this. I can never get that. Almost sounds like a Toys R Us commercial. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. Man, Toys R Us was such a great store. Huh? How, sad, how sad is it that there's no more Toys R Us, right? Oh my goodness, what a perverse generation we live in. No more Toys R Us. Oh, God bless you, sweetheart. Oh, ain't that sweet? Right? Oh my, right? It's so sad. <laughs> I, I, I love you guys. I love you. Oh, I love those catalog games. Oh, my goodness. I used to... Y'all. Yup. Come on now. Isn't it great just to have conversations like this? We, 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 you know, we all lived in different generations. Amen? 
But the glory of God is, is that we can all come together in the name above every name and just share, right? Yeah. And you can just feel Holy Spirit just bless us with, you know, His presence, right? Yeah. That, that, that it takes you back to those moments when you used to take those catalogs and circle the, the toys that you wish yeah. had. Yeah. Oh, right? Yeah. And, 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 and how many of us would fold it over and, right? And, yeah, right? I had it better than that. I used to deliver toys to KB Toy Store. Oh, KB! I just told Trish about that. My last delivery, he didn't want his till after the store closed. That gave us the entire shopping center. Oh my goodness. Remote control cars. So they play. <laughs> yeah, they play. <laughs> God's favor, amen. 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 God's good. All the time. God is good. God is good. You know what I love is that you're in Walmart and Kroger and you just hear another beloved go, God is good. All the time. And you have people go, huh? Yeah. And you know, it's funny, it's convicting because you really can't get crunchy when you hear that. Yeah. Right? But some people get so scared because i got such a big mouth. And I'm, I, I praise God for that. Hallelujah. Yeah. And I'm going to use it for His glory. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. In closing, this is what I want to close you with on page 65 of your I Am Recovered book. On page 65. And it says this. I understand that to have a relationship with God is to receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I embrace the fellowship with Holy Spirit in who Jesus Christ, my Lord, paid for. Holy Spirit who rested upon my Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit who Jesus Christ, our Lord, preached, taught, and demonstrated for us in a perfect relationship with Father God through Holy Spirit. I lay down my prideful heart. I lay down my free will, my right, my pride, and ask God never to allow me to hurt Holy Spirit and for God to be God of my life. He lives through me, say with me, for eternity. For eternity. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Fathers, we worship you, Father God, for all of eternity. We are one in you, Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, I just thank you right now that we are covered by your blood for all of eternity. Holy Spirit, I fear you and only you, Agape, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And what an honor it is, Father God, in any capacity to serve you. Heavenly Father, I pray for our small groups, that you would bless our small groups, that your anointing, your presence would flow through every beloved child, Father, whether they share or they don't, Father God. That we just want your presence, Father. That's all we want, Father God. We don't want to hurt you. We don't want to limit you. And we thank you, Father God, for this upcoming season that's taking place. We are now in this new season, Father, that overwhelms us of your abundance. But, Father God, we're not distracted by any blessings. We don't care about that, Father. All we care about is Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So, Lord Jesus Christ, we lift up your name and plead your holy blood. That, Father God, that we choose to bless you, Father. And we just thank you. And it's in Jesus Christ's holy and mighty name. And all of God's beloved said, Amen. Amen. God bless you, God.